All right, guys, here I am back on the backwaters of Mississippi right now. And uh, as you can see, we've got two nice gills on the ice right now. Um, all I'm using today is just a uh, tungsten with a uh, plastic tail. That's it. Um, as far as my bait, it's uh, the Widowmaker's 4 millimeter tungsten. And the plastic is, uh, I don't even know, some type of wedgie. But yeah, I'm fishing... I got fish just coming. Oh my gosh. Oh, right there, guys. I'm marking like crazy right now. Oh man. And there are all these nice gills. Like, there's a good one right there. That'd be a good eater, but I'm going to let that guy go right now. I'm going to be a little selective right now. Um, so, it's a nice fish. Oh, I got to tip down. Oh, nothing. Nope. I had a fish, but I guess not. Maybe I should have let it eat a little more. I got a shiner on this, actually. It's not a big, big shiner. It's not a big shiner, but it's it's like a perch, a perch size shiner. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel fish on there for sure. Okay, I got him, guys. Oh, he came off. Damn it. Oh, there was a fish on there, guys. I don't know what it was, but oh man, that sucks. That was on a shiner. All right, so that guy's set. I think I'm actually gonna drill a hole like right here, right next to this tip down, so I'm not too far away. Right there. Man, this is fun. Oh, gill. That one chased it like a crappie would. Right there. Come on. Ooh. Right there. Oh, man. This is like freaking sweet. This is <laughs> another gill. They are not big at all today. Not very big, but this is fun. Just look at the look at the colors on these backwater gills, guys. I mean, there's like purples, orange, browns, greens. You know, you just just beautiful. All right, get you back. Here's what I'm using again. Okay, that's it. Nothing special. These are actually very <laughs> very cheap, very cheap plastics. Oh, tip down, tip down, tip down. Oh, nothing. Missed him. Missed him. Nothing on there. Dang. Okay. That guy's set again. So hard to detect sometimes. Oh, tip down. Okay, tip down, tip down, tip down. Got him. Just a little crappie again. I mean, I am catching the crappies. It is on but they're not big <laughs> but it's nice to see it's a healthy a healthy population of fish coming up here in the next few years oh my gosh this mark just oh man oh my god that mark came from the straight from the bottom and just flew up like a rocket come on give me another go
Oh man, I had another hit right there. Here we go, here we go. We got fish coming, guys. Oh, bite right there. Doesn't feel very big though. Yeah, it's just a little crappy. That's cool. Ooh. The mark just showed up on my bait. Right there, guys. That was up bite. Another crappie. But they're small. These aren't the big ones that I was hoping to get into. But, yeah, it's still fun. See you later. I'm hoping to maybe get into some perch too. Holy crap. Oh, man, that fish hit my bait on the way down, guys. Holy crap. Another one, same size. That fish hit my bait on the way down. You see that? I just like was looking on the Vexlar and my bait was going down and then it grew twice the size and then the guy was that this fish was already on there but man hit it like a champ it's just small and that's cool I'll take holy crap coming back out huh okay here comes another one. Oh, oh man right there I missed him right there oh come on oh man holy crap it is like piranhas down there. Oh, tip down, tip down. Man. Tip down just went like crazy. Let's drop it back down. Man, I got fish. Just stacked. Wish. I wish I had a camera to put on my Vexar so you guys could see. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. He chased me. Come on. Oh, right there, guys. Ooh, this one feels a lot nicer. Nicer than the last ones. A little bit nicer, but not by much. Not by much. I mean, you could technically eat these. I mean, these are about eight inches, eight and a half, nines, but um, that's not what I want. Oh man, man, that was a good one. Is he still there? Oh man, I can't believe I didn't get that guy. He hit it hard. He chased me from like 10 feet all the way up to like five. Oh, there he is, there he is, same fish. Come on. Oh, right there. Ooh, this is a nicer one, guys. Right there. Ooh, this is a big guy, big crappie. Okay, this is what I'm talking about right here, guys. Oh, that is a slab. Look at that backwater slab. <laughs> okay, that's the one we're after right there, folks. That one, look at this. Oh, that is a slab. This guy is huge. Barely hooked right here. That is a giant backwater slab. Oh, man. I actually got my bump board here. Okay, I'm not gonna put them on the metal because I don't, I don't want to hurt the. Whoop. Sorry, I just said I wasn't gonna put them. But here it is. So this is about 13. Yeah, I know you guys can't really see it, but it's a, just take my word for it. It's about 13. Okay. 13 inch crop, you guys. Oh, tip down. I'm gonna let him go. Tip down. Let him go. Oh, got him. Got him. Okay. There's a nice one. Okay. <laughs> Man, that was freaking insane. That giant crappie. They are just stacked right now let's see oh my god 
right away I drop it down and it just gets a huge mark just right on me oh my god oh right there this one doesn't feel as big as the last one but it feels nice oh no he's stuck yeah oh yeah there's a good one right there nicer this guy will go probably around 10 ish 11 ish I don't know probably 10 that's a good keeper size right there okay there's more fish down there I'm gonna keep dropping I mean geez they are that man my, my line is freezing to my reel Here we go, here we go. Oh, up bite. This guy's fighting good. Oh, it's a gill. Holy crap. That gill came up high. I'm in like 12 feet of water maybe. And that gill came up to five feet to bite my bait. <laughs> That's insane. These gills are acting like crappies. Oh man, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Chasing me high, but won't... oh, right there. Oh, I missed him, guys. Holy cow, went from like eight feet all the way up to four feet to hit me. Holy smokes, and I didn't get it. That's a failure on my part. <laughs> Holy crap. Took a bit of work to get in here today. Uh, it's quite a hike, but uh... oh man, holy crap, it's, it's on fire. Oh, right there. Oh my gosh. Gil. <laughs> That's fine. I don't even care. It's non-stop action. I'm just trying to stay quiet too because there's people not too far away from me. I don't want them to hear me hooting and hollering. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, holy crap. That guy just murked. Just came and smacked me. What the heck? Okay, here comes another one. Oh my gosh, how am I not getting them? Are they just like barely whipping it or what? Oh, tip down, tip down, tip. Got him. There's a good one. There's a good one. Not a giant, but it's a good eater. Put that guy right there. What the? Do you have it down already? Yeah, I do. It's gone. There it is, there it is. Okay. It's on there. Ready? Oh, oh man. <laughs> I think I yanked it right out of it. Crap, dude. That was funny. Okay. I'm just not going to fish with that right now. I want a jig. Come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, a bite. Got this. I think this is a gill. Yep. It's a decent one too. Not a bad one. I think I'll ice this guy. Not bad. Right there. Ooh. Nice crappie, guys. Nice crappie. Okay. There he is. It's a nice crappie. Mm. Right there. All right, here we are, folks. I'm back at home, and uh, that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching that, and definitely that was the best outing I've had uh, on ice all year. So 
I'm really glad I was able to record that and share that with you. That's memories that I'll have for life. But yeah, definitely, uh, I had a really good day. And it's not many days like that that you get to experience just uh, the fish were just biting nonstop on fire action. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for the continued support. And I do read your guys' comments, questions, and uh, really appreciate the support. And I hope you guys are enjoying my content. My goal is in the future to uh, continue on the chase for big perch and crappies in the backwaters. Uh, I'm trying new things this year, going places I've never been and revisiting old ones and just uh, exploring and having fun. Uh, I don't always catch the biggest fish, but I do catch fish, so I guess that's a good thing. And uh, doing something that you've never done before, catching fish, no matter what the size is, to me, is a victory, is a su successful trip, and uh, and I'm learning all the way. So I'm, and I'm, I'm glad I'm able to record and take you guys along with my tr my journeys. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.